Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making these spring tulips in a pitcher. So to get started, you're gonna get a sheet of brown construction paper and you're gonna hold it portrait style so it's longer up and down than it is side to side. We are going to be using chalk pastels for this project. So we're gonna start with our white chalk pastel and at the bottom here in the middle, you're just gonna draw a curved line with it. And then you're gonna draw two lines to kind of come up and towards each other on both sides of that curved line. And then we're gonna draw the top of the picture here. So you're gonna draw a curved line that extends off to one side and then goes across from each of those lines at the top. And then we'll kind of come down, another curved line just like that, and we'll fill in a little bit of it. I'm not gonna fill in the top, just the bottom, like that, and then I'm gonna darken everything, make sure my lines are nice and bright. And then we're gonna add in a handle, so it's kinda of like a backwards C, but what I want you to try to do is come up and then kinda of curve in a little bit, like a heart, just like that. And then we can fill in using the side of our chalk, the center of this picture here, just like so. And you don't need to be really crazy with making sure it's all colored in. I'm actually gonna leave a little bit of brown at the bottom here, cause I like to have that more rustic look, um, but you can fill in the whole thing if you want to. Now we're gonna add in some shadows. So we're gonna be using a darker blue and on the left side here, you're gonna go up and down, adding in a little bit of shadow there. You're gonna add a little shadow at the bottom of the handle here and then also a little bit, not as much as what's on the left, a little bit on the right. And then we're gonna add in right underneath of that a dark shadow with this blue. And you're just gonna go back and forth in the shape of a U and we're gonna add in a little bit of purple over top of that. And then we're gonna add some white. We can use the side here all around on the bottom, just giving a place for the pitcher to sit. All right, so we're gonna start by blending the bottom here. So what I want you to do is go side to side, and then you're gonna follow that same U shape across. And this will require you to add a little bit more white, a little more blue, a little more purple as you blend it, depending on how much you add, I always have to go back and kind of touch up everything I do with the chalk pastels. So that's okay, I'm not gonna be showing you everything that I fix, um, but just know that, use your judgment, go back, fix what you wanna fix. And we're gonna do the same thing here, blending together. So I'm gonna blend up and down this time, following the shape of that vase. And then I'm gonna follow the handle here, following that shape, blending, same way I drew it, same thing here, with the picture, the top of the picture. So you just wanna make sure the same way that you drew it is the same way that you're blending. With this extra chalk here, what you're gonna do is just pick up your paper and tap it down. Now make sure that you're happy with all your blending before you do this next part. You're gonna be taking your white chalk pastel and just re-outlining everything. This time I want you to press kinda of hard and just make sure that those white lines are really like sticking out. You want it to show this time instead of it being all blended together, you want it to look really bright and just have all those lines showing. And we're gonna do the same thing with the black just to add in some shadow. So I'm gonna get a black chalk pastel and just underneath here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow, very gently. Again, I'm not gonna be blending this. Also at the top here, like the bottom side of the upper handle, just like that. And then also a little bit along the side. All right, now we are ready to start our tulips. So you're gonna get two different kinds of pink, a light pink and a dark pink, and we're gonna start with the light pink here. And what you're gonna do is just draw an oval, whatever size you want the tulip, and just color it in. This is very simple, basic, Just you're just adding ovals. You wanna add some that are close to the top of that picture there, and then some that are farther away, up towards the top. Just fill it up with as many tulips as you want. Once you've added all the tulips you want, now you're gonna get your dark pink. And at the top of these ovals, you're gonna make them pointy. So you're doing like an upside down V. And then along one side, you're gonna add some of the dark pink. And it doesn't matter, you can switch it up. So like one side, I have it on the right, one side I have it on the left, doesn't matter. But you're gonna add that to each one. So you're adding a point and then a shadow down one side. And now we're gonna add in a little bit of white just in the middle. So literally just a little scribble of white right in the middle of those ovals. 
And then, you guessed it, we're gonna be blending again. So this time, be very, very careful that you're not blending outside of what you drew. So I'm following that shape by just going, you know, curve line, curve line. I can go up and down, but I'm following that curve line. Now I will go back and I will add in some more light pink and some more white until I'm happy with how it looks. So you're gonna have to do the same. Make sure, of course, before you add the colors, you tap off the excess chalk so that way you can really see where you wanna add it. Once you're happy with the tulips, you're gonna get your light green and you're gonna first add in some stems that go to the top of the picture here. And some of these are gonna get covered up and that's okay because the next thing that we're gonna do is add in some leaves. So I'm gonna do long curved lines just like that to add in my leaves. And you can do them um, so they're going out to the side. You could also do one that's maybe going down in front of the pitcher. Okay, maybe I'll do a couple like that. So curved lines that are coming to a point. Once they're all drawn out, you're gonna get your dark green and you're gonna fill in the middle of each one of those leaves. So I'm coloring over top of the picture here since the leaves are sitting in front of it. And that's a cool thing about chalk pastels is you just color over top of what you don't wanna see and it will cover it up. So once I'm done with this, again, I'm gonna be gently blending the exact same way that I did when I was blending with the tulips. So following the shape and just very gently, just going up and down and then following that curve line very, very gently and carefully as I blend just the leaves and nothing else. All right, so we're almost done. We're gonna add in a little bit of a background. So you're gonna go back to that dark blue. And now it's almost like you're scribbling. You're gonna go kind of going out to the side all the way around. So I'll show you how that will change as I get to the corner, what I mean by out to the side. So you can see here the corner, I'm going out to the corner, I'm going out to the side, I'm going up and down now to go up and off the paper out that direction. And now this corner here, I'm going out to the left. So it's scribbling, but it's kind of controlled scribbling and you're doing it in a matter um, that brings focus to those flowers. So you also wanna add in a little bit between those flowers and those stems. So be very careful that you're not coloring over top of it, but just add in a little bit. Again, I'm just scribbling. And then we're gonna add some purple as well. So I'll add some purple here, oops, and I forgot in the middle. You don't wanna forget that. You wanna have some there too, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my purple going around in the same direction where I'm going out to the edge of the paper. And finally, I'm gonna add in a little bit of light blue just to kind of brighten it up right over top of those colors. Same thing all around, in between, going out to the edges. All right, boys and girls, there it is. This is our spring tulips in a pitcher. I hope you guys have fun with this. Can't wait to see them.